Hey guys, so it's December and it's almost the end of the year and that just kind of got me thinking about out of all of the shoes in my collection, what would I say are my top five most comfortable sneakers that I own? Just for clarity's sake, when I was choosing the five, I had a limit of one per sneaker model. So for example, I didn't choose an Ultra Boost and an Ultra Boost Uncaged. I didn't pick a Roshi and a Flyknit Roshi. So you guys kind of get the picture of what I was going for. So with that said, let's start off the list with number five. Number five. At number five, we have the Nike Flyknit Racer. So I know this may probably be a bit of a controversial selection. So I've heard people say that this narrow base is pretty uncomfortable and that this shoe is more of a sprinting shoe as opposed to an everyday shoe. So if you know me and you've been following my channel, you probably have a good idea that I'm a pretty big fan of the Flyknit Racer. I actually find them to be extremely comfortable and I do like how this cushioning setup is a bit more firm on feet and it really helps with me when I'm walking for a long day and I don't get that fatigue that I typically feel in the arches of my foot. Number four. At number four, we got the Nike Air Hirachi. So originally debuting in 1991, this sneaker has stood the test of time and is still today one of the most comfortable sneakers that I own. Although often overlooked and still using technology from 1991, this sneaker is still really, really plush on feet. In fact, this is probably my go-to shoe when I have to be on my feet for an entire day. Number three. Coming in at number three, we have the Nike Lunar Epic. So this is probably Nike's closest answer to Adidas's Boost technology. Featuring this full-length Lunar Lawn midsole, along with this Flyknit upper, together this shoe is both very comfortable, very lightweight, very flexible, and it's a very good performance shoe as well. So my feet are very happy when I wear these. And just by looking at the height of this midsole, this sneaker gives you just the right amount of balance between that soft, plush cushioning and a firm, responsive feel. Number two. At number two, we got the Nike Flyknit Roshi 2. So a lot of people claim that the Roshi is the shoe that started off this whole trend of casual and ultra comfortable sneakers. Before this, the market was heavily dominated by basketball sneakers. But since then, companies have been competing against one another, releasing new sneaker designs with inspirations that can be obviously traced back to the original Roshi 1. This sneaker utilizes three different densities of foam within the midsole. So the layer that's closest to your feet is gonna be the most plush, whereas the layer that's closest to the outsole is gonna be the most firm. So when you put your feet in here, it feels really, really soft and airy. And because this midsole on the forefoot isn't quite as thick as say something like the Lunar Epic, it doesn't sacrifice the ground feel. So overall, combining the price point as well as the overall silhouette, this is probably my go-to sneaker for everyday use. Number one. So I'm sure it comes to no surprise to anyone that the number one sneaker on my list of most comfortable shoes in my collection goes to the Adidas Ultra Boost. So when I first saw this Boost technology in person, I can't lie, my first thoughts were that it really looked like styrofoam. But after trying them on, and I'm sure the majority of you who are watching this can probably agree with me here, is that this stuff actually works. So really, when I say the Ultra Boost, what I'm really talking about here is this whole Boost umbrella. So shoes like the Pure Boost and the Energy Boost also fall under the same category. And overall, they're all just extremely, extremely comfortable. So the cushioning on these are extremely soft, extremely responsive, and so far it seems like the cushioning is just as good as the very first day that I started wearing them. So that wraps up the list of my top 5 most comfortable sneakers in my collection. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your top 5 sneakers would be. Until next time, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video.